thank you for joining us. Here I want to solve this quadratic equation using factorization method. And uh, we are going to be, you know, seeing how to factorize very easily in this, you know, video. If you are just joining or subscribe to this channel and also turn the notification bell on to receive notification to any of our videos. Now from here, if you are factorizing any quadratic you know, equation, first multiply the first and the last number here such that 3m squared times minus 65 now because here we have minus 65, here we have 3m squared. And when we multiply that, that will give us minus 195 m squared. So we have minus 195 m squared. Then we are going to find the factors of this such that when we break it down and we add it up, we are going to get the number in the middle, which is minus 2m in this case. Now, what are those two factors now? You can split this you know number into two now factors that it will give you minus 2m when you add it together and when you look at this we have minus 15m then plus 13m so multiplication of these two number will give us minus 195m square then when we add it together we have minus 2m so now the next step is to replace that minus 2m with these two numbers and then so this will now become we then have 3m square minus 15m plus 13m minus 65 equals 0 so what we did there is we just replaced minus 2m and we replace it with minus 15m plus 13. Now you can group this one, you know, 2, 2 and factor what is common out. You know, these two now, when you group it, the first two, when you factor what is common out, you can see that we have here that 3m is common. So when you factor 3m out, we have 3m out into bracket what we have here we have just one m then minus we have five here and on this you know side as well you factor what is common out we have just plus 13 common and you have m then you have minus five so when you look at this you have the same thing inside this bracket now you can bring one of it out and say m minus five then combine with what you have here that's 3m plus 13 so that is what is left here and what is left here they equal to zero now these two multiplies and the result is zero so either of them could be zero we now have m minus 5 equals to zero or 3m plus 13 equals to zero so when you solve this, m equals to 5. Taking minus 5 to this side is a solution. Or we have 3m equals to minus 13. And of course, you can divide both sides by 3 here to get m. So m will now be equals to minus 13 over 3. So these are the two values of m now. m equals to 5 or m equals to minus 13 over 3. Now we have come to the end of the solution. I believe with this, you know, method, you should be able to factorize any quadratic equation given to you. Thank you for joining us and don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class and bye for now.